Hi guys, <clears throat> I am thrilled to announce it is a blissfully rainy stormy night. Rainy stormy night. Ah, music to my ears. It is a rainy stormy night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here. Hallelujah. It is about time here at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this glorious Monday night, June 26, 2023. And the little dog are pulling up in the one of our three tiny houses. And I need to pee and I can't step outside to pee. There is no bathroom in any of the tiny houses. So anyway, I will just have to grin and bear it during this rant. So, oh, I was just going through the usual doomer porn at medium.com and on the mainstream media and reading uh, suggestions that you folks were sending me. And then just a couple of hours ago, I get an email from my good buddy, Elliot Jacobson my partner in doom and gloom here, uh, brother Elliot. Now, Elliot, uh, you know, he's basking in his newfound fame. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love it, Elliot Jacobson. Uh, um, what, what's the word? What, what I'm having a senior moment. I, I, anyway, coming up with that famous chart that none of those climatologists could have come up with. So let's all give Elliot Jacobson uh, a hand for making a little, having a little bit of fun with all of those professional climatologists. But he's looking at the bigger picture on his Twitter account. Elliot, uh, if you're on Twitter, you can go to my... I'm not on Twitter, so I was not aware that Elliot has a poll running on Twitter today, <clears throat> and it's a little unclear to me whether these are the final results, but I think you, whether they were, this was based on right around 11,000 votes coming in on his uh, on this poll now you understand that that Elliot I, I mean it's a doomer site I, I've never been on it but obviously uh, Elliot Jacobson's Twitter page attracts doomers and, and, and people who should understand what's going on on this planet so uh, Elliot's trying to gauge uh, how sharp his audience <laughs> How sharp his audience is, so he runs a poll. Elliot, I'm just curious what this climate and collapse aware community really thinks. And here is the question with four answers. All right, the question is who or what carries most of the blame? for our predicament. Who or what carries most of the blame for our predicament? He doesn't say, the question is not who carries all of the blame for how doomed we are. He, he softens it a little bit, you know, to give you some latitude. He, he, he doesn't want to lead the audience. So these are the four choices. So how would you answer Elliot Jacobson's poll? Who or what carries most of the blame for our predicament? Okay, number one, big oil, you know, Shell, Exxon, etc. Big oil, are they the ones most to blame for our predicament. Number two, which he he uh, <laughs> he groups these three. I, I he groups these three under one heading: 
capitalism greed top 1%. So that's kind of three things. But uh, I I anyway, we all know what he's talking about. So are capitalism greed and the top 1%? Do they carry most of the blame for our predicament? Number three on the list, overpopulation slash overshoot. So for those of you who are not aware of overshoot, basically overshoot is uh, you know too many people eating too much stuff that our favorite billionaire with the five children, uh, Ted Turner, famous for saying, I, you know, Ted Turner's always been my favorite billionaire. The guy does have moxie to have five children and uh, a billionaire with five children talking about the reason the planet is doomed. Ted Turner is a doomer. Uh, the reason the planet is doomed, there's too many people eating too much stuff, says the billionaire with five children. I think that Ted Turner is the single biggest private landowner in the United States of America. I think he still holds that title. So overshoot is overpopulation and overconsumption. You know, that, that big debate about is it overpopulation or is it overconsumption? It is both. It is the two-headed snake of overshoot. But he counts that as one. So is overpopulation slash overshoot? Is it, carry, does it carry most of the blame for our predicament? And the fourth choice uh, I was a little, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I like the choice. I was a little confused why he came up with it. The fourth choice is the failed human species. You know, is the failed human species carry most of the blame for our predicament? You, you know, I emailed Elliot back and, and I said, well, dude, the failed human species kind of includes all of the others, but I think anyone who answered the failed human species probably would have defaulted to overpopulation and overshoot if the failed human species uh, wasn't a, you know, wasn't a choice. You know, the failed human species, I, I kind of looked at that like, you know, who or what carries most of the blame for drowning? You know, is it is it boating accidents? Is it swimming accidents? Or is it floods and tsunamis? I mean, well, just that one tsunami we had over 200,000 people drown in 30 seconds. So, or is it water? Is the, you know, if it wasn't for water, you would not have boats or swimmers or floods. You can't drown without water. You can't have big oil, capitalism, or even overpopulation without humans. So I don't really, I was a little unclear why he put humans. So I automatically uh, <clears throat> answered, you, you know, no shit Sherlock, overpopulation overshoot. So how many of you agreed with me? On oh, number three, overpopulation overshoot. So here, is how uh, the numbers came out. Okay. Big Oil, Shell, Exxon, etc., 20.1% of 11,000 people, let's just call it 10,000 people, 
uh, it was actually 11,000, at least at this point in the poll. So if it 10,000 people had come up with these numbers, it probably, you know, probably was. So that, you call it 20% uh, of 10,000 is, uh, well, it's 2,000 people. 2,000 out of 10,000 people inside the climate and collapse aware community tuning in to Elliot's Twitter feed. And, and, and why would anyone who's not a doomer be tuning in to Elliot Jacobs' Twitter feed? I, I mean, he's a, he's a good looking guy, you, you, you know, maybe uh, that's why they tune in, but I think it's because he's a doomer. I, I, anyway, so 20%, 2,000 out of, uh, out of 10,000. Okay. Capitalism, greed, in the top 1% category was the clear land, I think, is this a landslide, is 56.3% a, uh, a, a landslide, 56.3%. Capitalism, greed, in the top 1%. Uh, so out of 10,000 people, 5,630 uh, chose capitalism being the top 1%. So I, I'm going to skip over off, overpopulation and overshoot because I want to I, I wind up on it. So the failed human species, the failed human species... Uh, carries most of the blame for our predicament, 16.9%. 16.9% uh, of the doomers answering this poll think it is the failed human species that carries most of the blame for our predicament. Uh, and so unless you're a mathematician like Elliot is, we come up with overpopulation slash overshoot 6.7%. 6.7%, otherwise 670 out of 10,000 doomers think overpopulation and overshoot are the, uh, that it's just too many people eating too much stuff is the reason why we are so doomed. Uh, six, what is that? 670 doomers out of 10,000. So whatever that is, 610,000 minus 600 and 79,000, is that 9,430 or 9,330? I am not a mathematician and I've had two drinks. Anyway, 670 doomers out of 10,000 think it is too many people eating too much stuff agreeing with Ted Turner, our favorite billionaire, and of course William Catton, uh, author of Overshoots, one of the uh, great, you know, the great books on the, on the predicament we're in, is Overshoot. And uh, so, what Elliot, uh, you know, just uh, like, you know, the fact that overpopulation and overshoot came in at six points in a community of doomers that, you know, if we need any more evidence of our predicament, it's that figure. So uh, anyway, so that was that. And then, guys, I started thinking. I said, who was that guy 
that got interviewed on soft white underbelly. Well, there were two doomers who were interviewed on soft white underbelly. Uh, one of them, uh, Elliot Jacobson, and the other one, Sam Mitchell of Collapse Chronicles. And anyone who has listened to that interview uh, will hear Sam Mitchell say uh, about overpopulation. I, I didn't get into overshoot. I, you know, I didn't have the time in the 40 minutes that I had to, you know, to, to, to open up that can of worms. So I just lumped it in, and, and I and I said something to the effect of. People who know me will be shocked to hear me say this, but overpopulation is not the problem. The problem is humans. Overpopulation, the fact that there's too many people eating too much stuff is the number one problem the, the, that carries, so what is it, uh, too many people uh, eating too much stuff is the number one problem uh, that carries most of the blame for our predicament. But there is something, but overpopulation is not the problem. It is not overshoot and uh, it is not a overpopulation or overshoot that doesn't carry most of the blame for our predicament. If the question, if, if Elliot had, had uh, reworded the question instead of who or what carries most of the blame for our predicament, if the question had read, who carries 100% of the blame for our uh, predicament. The answer is the failed human species. E even I, even I, from soft white underbelly, tell him Mark and anybody, any other clueless moron, the problem is not overpopulation. The problem is humans. Humans are 100 percent responsible for our predicament. The failed human species is responsible for every one uh, of the other list. If there were no humans, there would be no overpopulation and overshoot of humans. No shit, Sherlock. If there were no humans, there would be no capitalism, there would be no top 1%, where well, there would be some greed. You're a little greedy little dog, aren't you? Yeah, look at you playing all innocent. You know that you know how greedy you are. So eliminating humans from the planet would eliminate immediately capitalism and the top 1% would disappear when humans disappear, but greed, uh, you know, greed is greed. It would eliminate a hell of a lot of greed uh, off of the planet by getting rid of humans. And there sure as shit would be no big oil. There would be no Shell. There would be no Exxon. There would be no anthropogenic climate change. There would be no plastic on this planet? The answer to the question, who carries 100% of the blame for our predicament is the failed human species, a big hand for the 1,690 doomers who get it and I'm going to even throw in those 670 uh, doomers, you know, talking about too many people eating too much stuff. If you lump those into one heading, it would be, what would that be, 
20, a uh, little over 23, but le less than one-fourth of doomers. I I if you combined the failed human species with overpopulation, overshoot, it still comes out less than one-fourth of doomers get it. But anyway, I want to thank uh, uh, Elliot Jacobson, and I honestly don't know what Elliot's answer to the question is. He never told me. I, I don't know on Twitter whether he ever said, so Elliot, are you coughing up? Which one? I, I'm assuming that Elliot uh, went with overpopulation and overshoot, but I don't know. So to this minute, brother, I do not know. I, I know damn well that Elliot did not choose big oil or capitalism. Uh, I would be I would be absolutely shocked if uh, if Elliot Jacobson. Uh, he hasn't been down in the doomosphere that long, but he's but he's catching up uh, with those of us who've been down here a lot longer than he is. And I would be shocked if, if uh, Elliot Jacobson uh, w was, uh, was so absolutely clueless that he would say that big oil or capitalism or the 1% or whatever, uh, unlike the 76% uh, of clueless moron doomers choosing one of those. Uh, so he either went with overpopulation, overshoot, or the failed human species, but I don't know, brother. Would you please leave in a comment what your answer is? It, it's a, uh, it, it, I won't say this is a no-brainer. Uh, as, as I say, I chose the wrong answer myself. I'm completely embarrassed that I chose the wrong answer. Sam Mitchell of Collapse Chronicles and the famous uh, soft white underbelly. The problem is humans. Anyway, sounds like the main rain has passed and all the sound of this dripping water. I have got to uh, head out to the bushes while I still can. When was the last time you peed, you greedy little dog? So, get out there and enjoy being part of the failed human species while you still can. My guys.